what our advisors have simply said is, is that um, we are going to take uh, media as it comes. And if media is operating basically as a talk radio format, then that's one thing. And if it's operating as a uh, as a news outlet, then that's another. Uh, but it's not something I'm losing a lot of sleep over. The White House says uh, it's at war with Fox News. And President Obama, as you can see there, isn't pulling any punches. Conservatives are crying that it's un-American to attack a news organization. I don't think the president is attacking the news. If you need proof, take a look at this clip from Media Matters. Even at the inauguration of a black president, it seems white America is being called racist. We are being told that we have to hope he succeeds that we have to bend over, grab the ankles. But he's not going to succeed. Socialism has failed. No, I think the honeymoon is over. You can't break all your campaign promises. You think it's really socialism. Why? The next Jimmy Carter. Barack Obama was elected by mostly by black races and white guilty people. End of capitalism as we know it, Bill of 2009. We're starting to look at fascism closer towards socialism. Closer to communism. How do you quantify whether or not your country is socialist? Dangerously like socialized medicine. It sure feels like open season on capitalism in D.C. Well, the president pitches and the Dow dies. Sounds like the honeymoon is over. I feel like President Obama is just saying, you know what? <laughs> I've got that, that $3.5 trillion budget that we're doing. We're celebrating the first 100 days of Barack Obama's 100 tenure. 100 days of America going down the yeah, drain. Well, what he did by talking to Hugo Chavez and embracing him and fist bumping and, and, and making lovey dovey in the hotel, God knows what went on behind closed doors. We have a president whose foreign policy can only be described as anti American. The enemy is not only in the gates, they're inside the house house now all of that before the white house responded joining me now is filmmaker robert greenwald he directed the landmark documentary out foxed mr greenwald we've known that fox has been like this for a long time but is this a game changer for maybe even more material now that the white house is on the offensive calling them out what do you think well, I think it's great that the White House has called them out. It's, a, it's exciting. Uh, we should all get up and cheer and thank them for doing it. Because remember, Ed, the crucial thing with Fox News has always been not the people who watch Fox, but every other news organization except for yours that has in the past picked up the lies, picked up the distortions, and amplified the message that Fox is trying to drive out there. With the Obama administration calling them out, I hope and believe it will be harder for the other news organizations to play follow the leader. Do you think Fox News lies and misleads purposely? No, I don't think so. I know they do. They lie, they, <laughs> they mislead, and they distort. It's not a question, and it's factual. Media Matters has uh, made it clear. The News Hounds has made it clear. At our Fox attacks online, you can see it over and over and over again. And again, we must be, be very clear. This is not going after an individual reporter. This is an organization that, in its DNA, is committed to propaganda and one point of view and one point of view only. They had 22 different clips covering the health care debates. Every single one of those clips covered people who were opposed to health care reform. What about the news today that Roger Ailes has got his uh, country club buddies trying to prod him along to encourage him to run for president? Well, I mean, I, I say, let's go. What, what can I do to help? I mean, I think it would be great entertainment. And I'd like to see him actually debate Barack Obama. So there's, it would be great for our industry. But, but what do you make of that? I think you and I should join up to be his co-chairman to start the campaign right now, get him <laughs> off of Fox and into a debate with Obama. That would be that would be truly an event that would be pay per television. Um, you know, what it makes clear, of course, is his political agenda in case there's a doubt in anybody's mind. And by the way, shame on Tapper from ABC for coming to the defense of Fox and claiming they are a sister network. That's absolute nonsense. And I think we should let him know that. And I also want to call out to move on that's doing a great job raising the issue and saying, you know what, they have a big petition out there saying, we don't think any Democrat should go on Fox until Obama agrees to go on again. 
Well, you know, there's another thing here, Mr. Greenwald, is that uh, people believe what they hear and what they see. And the lies that Fox throws out there and the documentation that you've done in Media Matters, I come out here in the heartland and I'll do some pheasant hunting and I'll run into people. I mean, they are reciting this stuff as if it's gospel. Like, well, I, I heard it on Fox. It, it must be true. I mean, look, you know, I don't come here on this program distorting anything, but if you don't believe or like what I say, you can obviously make a content judgment, but don't let me be your only source of information. Fox is just constantly <laughs> driving home uh, what they believe in, and they don't care about the facts. But the thing is, the consumption by some people out there who are just novice news uh, consumers that can a couple of minutes and then they dr drive it home between their ears like well gosh that that must be the way it is how do you what do you think the best way is to fight that have the white house come out and go after them big time what do you think Absolutely. I think the White House is doing the right thing because now there's a response. When people say, well, Fox News said, then we say yes. But the White House and others are very clear that Fox News is an arm of the conservative and the Republican Party. We never have had that before. You know, when we did the, the Fox film years ago, uh, it was a dream that one day we would be hearing the president and his advisors talk this way. So I think we need to do everything we can. And again, Ed, I can't emphasize strongly enough. You know, the folks you may see when you're hunting, we may or may not be able to reach them, but damn it, we've got to be able to reach everyone else and the other news organizations and encourage them to stop and knock it off when they pick up a political propaganda talking point from Fox. Well, it's easier to do that than to read something. And I think one of the most troubling yeah. things in our society right now is that young people aren't reading the way past generations have. And we're losing our curiosity for what the truth is. And that's why folks like you and Media Matters have got to stay out there on the forefront. I appreciate your time, Mr. Greenwald. Thanks so much. Thank you. Robert, sure. Gre you bet. Robert Greenwald with us here on The Ed Show tonight.